हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू वन मोर सेशन ऑफ दिस आईओटी कोर्स लास्ट सेशन आई हैव डेमोस्ट्रेटेड फ्यू सिंपलर प्रोजेक्ट्स लाइक टेंपरेचर कंट्रोल ऑफ अ रूम लाइक ऑटोमेटिक स्ट्रीट लाइटिंग बाय यूजिंग टिंकर कैट टुडे आई विल डेमोस्ट्रेट फ्यू हार्डर प्रोजेक्ट्स as compared to previous by using tinker cat that is implementation of harder projects using tinker cat agent of this session first i will start with automatic movement detection using pir sensor then i will come to automatic smoke detection using gas or smoke sensor you can say in real life it is mq2 sensor or mq series sensor whatever you can say then i'll come to home automation using multiple sensors like smoke sensor like pir sensor like uh, ldr like ultrasound sensor etc etc okay let's start with automatic movement detection using pir sensor problem statement for security as well as convenience the benefits of motion sensors cover a range of functions motion sensors benefit everything from residential neighborhood and commercial properties to industrial spaces and restricted military areas in short motion sensors provide the following basic benefits number 1 keep homes and families safe from intrusions number 2 prevent burglary and theft on commercial properties number 3 stop animals from straying into dangerous areas keep unauthorized personnel from trespassing on restricted grounds open doors automatically as you come and go activate lights when you enter a room in this module we try to detect motion using pir sensor and a Mechanical controller that is Arduino Uno board. Circuit diagram, guys. You can see the circuit diagram. We have uh, Arduino. Then this is the PIS sensor. This is LCD display for displaying whether motion is detected or not. This is the potentiometer. We have LED and one LDR. Okay, that will give you the light value that is whether your room is uh, illuminated or not right so that will display on the lcd monitor okay so guys you can see this is 54 that is the value okay by this way we can understand that whether your room has enough light or not okay so this is the circuit diagram as you can see the arduino is connected to the lcd and uh, pi is also connected to the arduino board and uh, you have one ldr and led also connected to arduino and the photo display meter also for uh, dividing the voltage so guys this is the code guys you can see we have included one header file that is called liquid crystal dot h then we have uh, one variable called led pin that is equal to 11 so the digital pin number 11 and led will be connected to digital pin number 11 that is led anode pin is connected to digital pin number 11 then we have pir pin Uh, is basically pin number eight. This 
these are pin number 8, PI sensor actually give a uh, high or low value depending on motion detected or not. Then there is another variable that is called uh, PIR state flow. Now I will explain the code. I have included one uh, header file that is called liquid crystal dot h for uh, LCD display. As you can see, there are four variables, rather say four integer variables. First one is the LED pin variable, which is initialized to 11. That means LED anode pin is connected to digital pin number 11 of Arduino board. Then we have PIR pin, which is initialized to 8. Then we have PIR state, which is initialized to low. Then you have VAL, which is initialized to 0. As you can see, uh, there is a variable is called photo cell pin, which is initialized to A0. The cell and 10K pull down are connected to A0 pin, that is the analog pin. You can say LDR is connected to pin number A0, that is the analog pin. Where from Arduino will take the input or you can say sensor value. That is another uh, variable is called photo cell reading. The analog reading from the sensor divider. Then I have initialized LCD coordinates Now we have setup function where I have initialized or you can say I have uh, used pin mode that is the LED pin and output pin already I told you pin number 11. Then PIR pin is input pin already I told pin number 8 and then pin mode uh, photo cell pin this is also input pin for uh, LDR. Already I told that is A0 pin. Then I have used one serial dot begin for serial communication. This is a serial communication speed that is baud rate 9600. Then sets the LCD parameters that is columns and rows. Then set LCD cursor position, column and row. Then prints to LCD as you can see different functions. Then you have to set the cursor position also as you can see. That means after uh, displaying PIR motion, it will display and light sensors. Then we have LCD dot clear that means clear LCD. Then guys you can see the different uh, parameters of LCD, that means you have to set all these parameters accordingly. As you can see also, some displays, processing data, then no motion, then waiting like this. I will show you. Now we have loop function, here we have digital read, already I told you, PIR pin will give high value or low value uh, depending on motion detected or not detected. So, val should be either high or low, this is value from the PIR. Then another function that is the analog read that will read the value, sensor value let us say uh, from LDR sensor and store it to photo cell reading variable. If well that is high, already I told you, the PI sensor will give high value if motion is detected. If motion is not detected, then PI will return low value that is 0. So, guys, you can see digital write LED pin high, that means if well equals to high, then 
third will grow and if PIR state equals to equals to low that means uh, motion detected ok guys and this will also display the light value we can say that means whether you, you have light in your room or not ok the value will take from LDR sensor as you can see. So now we have uh, else part here LED uh, pin is low that means VR sensor value is not high then LED is low right? and if PIS state is high then just set PIS state to low. So, I have written one uh, scroll screen uh, saver function guys you can see for LCD display. Displays no motion on the LCD that is it. Now, I will open the Tinkercad, go to browser and type tinkercad.com, enter. Yes, this is my dashboard, there is a Tinkercad dashboard, go to circuits, first I will open motion detection project, nice. I have already created this circuit that is why I am not making it once more. Motion detection by using PS sensor and LCD display. I have also used one LDS sensor to measure the light of your room that means light intensity of your room. As you can see the circuit diagram also I have explained this thing earlier. So, go to port first and check whether the code is same or not. So, as you can see I have included liquid crystal dot h then uh, I have initialized LED pin with 11 then uh, PIR pin with 8 and then PIR state is initialized to low as well is initialized to 0. Right guys, same thing. I have also initialized photo cell pin variable with A0 and I have declared one more variable that is photo cell ready. So, this is the liquid crystal that is uh, LCD. I have initialized this thing. Then you have setup function. We have LED pin as output pin, PIR pin as input pin because we will take the value from PIR pin. Then we have photo cell pin also input because we will receive the value from this pin. There is the LDR sensor pin. Then uh, we have used one uh, serial dot begin for serial communication speed. Okay, so then uh, LCD we have initialized the LCD already have explained. We set different uh, parameters for LCD like LCD dot begin. We have then you have LCD set cursor then print the value like PIN motion like this. Okay. Then once again LCD dot set cursor. Okay, guys. This is LCD dot clear to clear the LCD. So as you can see, the different uh, print and as well as the parameters. Print like LCD dot print uh, processing data. Then no motion like this. already I have explained. This is the loop function where 
uh, I have written one uh, digital link to read the value from PIA sensor and store it to val and also I have used one analog read function using the value from NDA sensor and store it to photo cell reading variable. If val is equal to goes to high uh, then digital light LED pin high that means pin number 11 is high ok. So, if uh, motion detected then the LED pin is high to show motion detected and if uh, PIR state is low because I have initialized to low then uh, print motion detected on the LCD and uh, also print the LDL value. So, whether uh, we have enough light in your room or not. Else, uh, just uh, digital light LED pin low, then scroll screen saver that is called screen saver as you know. This is the function. This is void scroll screen saver. So, when you are doing nothing, this one message will scroll. That is no motion and the waiting. So, this message will scroll whenever you are doing nothing on the LCD screen. As this is the code for scroll screen server. So, already I have explained this one. This is all about code. So, now I will go to star simulation. Nice. As you can see, PIR motion and light sensor on the LCD screen processing data already I told you and this is the screen server no motion waiting. So, now I will uh, click on uh, PIR sensor yes. So, now if I move this object as you can see LED is glowing and one message displayed on the screen that is motion detected and the value of LDA sensor. Once more motion detected and the value is 54. Okay guys. So, that is the thing. You can also change the uh, value of LDA. Let's, let's click on that and this is you can move it little bit and now once more move the object. As you can see motion detector and the value is 966 LDA value. Okay. So, this is the way you can uh, experiment or you can build this project and that is the output. Okay guys. You can also uh, get the value of so as you can see this is the message motion detected motion detected motion detected because I wrote this thing in the code. Ok guys, now stop simulation and click on code. Ok, now I will come to another project that is called automatic smoke detection system using gas or smoke sensor. In real life, we use generally MQ2 sensor or you can say MQ series problem statement. A smoke alarm is critical for the early detection of a fire in your home and could mean the difference uh, between life and death. Fires can occur in a variety of ways and in any room of your home. But no matter where or how having a smoke alarm is the first key step towards fire safety. In a fire, smoke and deadly gases tend to spread farther and faster than heat. That is one reason why most fire victims die from in 
elation of smoke and toxic gases not from burns a smoke alarm often allows people the precious but limited time needed to escape properly installed and maintained smoke alarms are considered to be one of the best and least expensive means of providing an early warning of a potentially deadly fire and could reduce by almost half the risk of dying from a fire in your home guys you know that uh, if you have fire alarm in your apartment or in your room then you can safely escape from the room or the apartment if fire occurs in this module we look forward to a smoke detector using a microcontroller that is arduino uno board that alarms us on the basis of pp this particle per minute in the air guys you can see the circuit diagram this is arduino board this is the gas sensor guys you can see there are five leds which are connected to different uh, pins digital pins of this arduino board i'll tell you uh, when i'll explain the code pin numbers the purpose of these leds are basically to identify the smoke that means how close the smoke is with respect to the sensor okay i have connected one resistance also with this sensor right you can see and five registers with this leds now i'll come to the port so guys you can see pin numbers led pin number that is 65432 and this is the a3 pin is the analog pin which is required for taking input that is the sensor value or you can say i have connected sensor pin sensor pin with this a3 pin of arduino board because arduino will take input from that particular pin or you can say arduino can take value from this pin a3 so i have initialized all these pins as output pins as you can see there are five pin mode functions you can say uh, pin underscore led1 output pin pin underscore led2 output pin pin underscore led3 output pin pin underscore led4 output pin pin underscore led5 output pin also i have added one serial dot begin function for serial communication that is the board grid 9600 guys we have now a loop function right so you can see here i have written one function that is the map and within that i have written one more function that is called the analog read so it is reading uh, the sensor value okay from the sensor and after that i have converted into the range that is a 0 to 100 that means uh, sensor will read the value between uh, 300 to 750 and then it is mapped to 0 to 100 by using map function and it will store into this variable that is called value this map function takes value from the gas sensor which is uh, between 300 and 750 and scales it to a value between 0 to 100 so guys you can see the map function guys you can see the functions digital write functions there are five digital write functions if the sensor value greater than equals to 20 then led1 will glow if the sensor value greater than equals to 30 then led1 will glow as well as led2 will glow if the sensor value greater than equals to 40 then led1 will glow led2 will glow and led3 will glow then when the sensor value is greater than equals to 60 then led1 will glow 
LED2 will glow, LED3 will glow and LED4 will glow and when sensor value is greater than 80, LED1 will glow, LED2 will glow, LED3 will glow, LED4 will glow and LED5 will glow. So guys, in this way you can uh, find out the intensity of the gas or you can say the carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide whatever you can say. So this is a serial print, you can print the value of sensor. Now I will open the Tinkercad, go to browser and type tinkercad.com, enter. Yes, this is my dashboard, there is a Tinkercad dashboard, go to circuits. First, I will open I have already created this circuit, that is why I am not making it once more. So, this is the smooth detection project. Click on Tinker this. Already I have discussed this thing, the circuit diagram. Uh, there are five LEDs are responsible for measuring the intensity of gas as well as the detection. So guys, this is the gas sensor and it's connected to Arduino. And these five LEDs also connected to Arduino as you can see from pin number 2 that is digital pin number 2 to digital pin number 6 ok and these are connected that means LEDs are connected through resistance. The gas is also connected through the resistance and we have used one breadboard for connection. So now I will go to the code and check whether this code is same as what I have explained. So yes, so there are 5 LEDs as you can see that is pin number 6, 5, 4, 3, 2 already I told you and the A3 pin is the sensor pin, the gas sensor pin which is connected to uh, pin number A3 that is the analog pin of Arduino board where from Arduino will take the input or receive the sensor value. So there are 5 pin mode functions for initializing LED pins as output pins and one more pin mode function for initializing A3 pin as input pin and also I have used one serial dot begin for initializing the speed of serial communication that is port rate. So now uh, this is the loop function guys, this is the function analog read function is reading the value sensor value and uh, within the range of 300 to 750, but I have converted this value into 0 to 100. That means you can say I have mapped the value from 300 to 750 to 0 to 100. Okay, this is the map function and it is stored in value variable. If the sensor value is greater than equals to 20, then uh, LED 1 will glow. If the value is greater than 30, then LED 1 as well as LED 2 will glow. If the sensor value is greater than equals to 40, then LED 1, LED 2 and LED 3 will glow. If sensor value is greater than equals to 60, then LED 1, LED 2, LED 3 and LED 4 will glow. And when the sensor value is greater than 80, then 
LED 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 will glow. And also I have printed the value of the sensor. Okay guys, this is the code. So now I will run this code, start simulation. Okay guys, so now I click on sensor. As you can see, all the LEDs are glowing. That means the gas is too close with respect to sensor. Now I will move it. As you can see, no LED is glowing. So now I will move the smoke towards sensor. As you can see, first LED is glowing. Then it is close, second, third, then fourth then fit okay so in this way this project will work okay so one more time so no LED is glowing now I'm moving towards sensor so one of the LED is glowing when it is too close all LEDs are glowing and you can also uh, check the value sensor value guys just click on CVR monitor guys you can see the value Okay, from here. If I move, as you can see, it decreases. When it is close, it is increases. Yes. Okay, guys, uh, this is the project. Now stop simulation. Click on code. Now I will come to another project that is called home automation using Arduino Uno and ultrasound sensor, PIR sensor, temperature sensor, LDS sensor and gas sensor. You can use your knowledge from previous lectures to design a home automation system using a microcontroller and sensors. Here is the list of few things that you can implement. You can keep track when the door is opened and closed using a PIS sensor. You can install an ultrasound sensor at your door that alarms if an outsider is standing too close to the door, particularly helpful during this pandemic. Automate turning on or off your lights at home depending on sunlight. Install an alarm to detect gas leakage or fire. Turn the AC or fan on or off depending on temperature. Guys, this is the circuit diagram. So, here you have uh, all five sensors like ultrasound sensor, like uh, PIR sensor, like LDS sensor, like temperature sensor, like uh, gas sensor. As you can see, so this field is responsible for uh, when the light is uh, low in, in your room. So, this LED will immediately glow. Uh, these five uh, LEDs are basically responsible for when the gas uh, is very close then, uh, to the sensor then it will automatically uh, glow one after another okay this led is basically uh, automatically glow when uh, motion is detected these five uh, leds are responsible for detecting gas okay then buzzer will uh, start ringing when uh, the distance is very close that means if someone uh, is very close to your door, okay. And uh, we just set one alarm when the gas is very close uh, to your sensor or room, we can say. And when motion detected, then also buzzer will start ringing. Okay, we have this Arduino board and. Uh, there are three buzzers and also I have uh, used one multimeter like this that will display the 
voltage. So we actually uh, if we increase decrease the temperature, so we can uh, get the voltage value of that. Okay. So this is the code for a home automation, guys. You can see this is the ping ping, which is used for uh, receiving a signal and a sending signal. Already told you in ultrasound sensor there are uh, two pins in real life. One is called trigger, and is called the echo. Trigger will generate the pulse, then echo will receive the pulse, right? And you have to calculate the deviation. Okay, guys, this is a buzzer pin, pin number four. So you have LED pin that is responsible for uh, when light is not enough in your room. So this LED will immediately glow. We have uh, LDR pin, this analog pin. So I have to connect the LDR sensor in pin number A1. There are five LED pins uh, for detecting gases in different level. And we have another uh, gas sensor pin that is, uh, I have to connect the gas sensor with this A2 pin of Arduino board. Okay, this is the one variable, it is the delay between reads. And uh, there is another pin called E5 pin, and this is also a sensor pin uh, for, as you can see, for temperature. Then we have setup function here, as initially, it's all LED pins as output pins, and uh, then LDR as input pin, buzzer as output pin. And this is the pin number 10 for PIR, guys. Already I told you digital pin, so I have to connect PIR sensor with this digital pin number 10. Okay, and this is uh, 11, it's also uh, LED pin. Okay, so that is uh, for uh, when a motion is detected, this uh, LED will glow. Then you have loop function. So here I have declared two variables. One is called duration, one is called centimeter that are required when actually we are calculating the distance. So how close object with respect to your door. This is once again pin mode ping pin as output pin already I told you. So first uh, ping pin will behave as trigger pin, then ping pin will behave as uh, echo pin. So that's why ping pin as output pin. Then uh, it, it is initialized to low for 2 microseconds, then initialized to high for 5 microseconds, then once it initialized to low. So then uh, this pin pin is uh, initialized to input pin because now pin pin will receive the signal as echo pin, and then you have to calculate the duration by using the pulse pin function where you have to give pin pin number and it should be high. Then I have converted the deviation into the centimeter by using a function. I have defined this function later and you can print the value. And if the distance is less than uh, 100 centimeter, your buzzer is start ringing. And if it's not, is greater than 100, then buzzer will not ring. So now I've used one analog read function that will read the value of uh, LDR sensor, okay. And if it is less than equals to 300, then the LED pin, that is pin number two, is high. That is LED will glow, okay. So and you can print the value of LDR setup. That is the sensor value. Else, the LDR pin that is pin number 2 is low. So, now I will use another analog read for reading uh, gas sensor value and I have converted this one into 0 to 100 scale. That means the sensor will receive the value between 300 to 750, but I have mapped it to 0 to 100. 
so this will store in the variable called value okay so now you can see guys digital write pin underscore lg underscore one high right that is initial it is high this LED is glowing then uh, if the sensor value is greater than equals to 20 then the first LED as well as the second LED are also glowing if the sensor value is greater than equals to 40 then first second and third LED are glowing when sensor value is greater than equals to 60 then first second third fourth all the LEDs are glowing and when the sensor value is greater than equals to 80 then the first second third fourth fifth all the LEDs are glowing now the PIS sensor this is a digital read uh, function reading the value from the PIS sensor the PIS pin is connected to digital pin number 10 already I told you if it is high that means motion detected so then the another LED if it is connected to 11 is high that means LED is glowing okay after uh, some time that is uh, 100 millisecond it is low that means LED will off this is the function I have written uh, to convert uh, this microseconds to centimeter already I told you this is a standard formula for doing this thing a standard method you can say now I'll open the Tinkercad. Go to browser and type tinkercad.com. Enter. Yes, this is my dashboard. There is a Tinkercad dashboard. Click on circuits. So now I'll open the home automation, guys. For you. I have already created this circuit, that's why I am not making it once more. Click on Tinker this. Guys, this is the circuit diagram. So, here you have uh, all five sensors like ultrasound sensor, like uh, PIR sensor, like LDR sensor, like temperature sensor, like uh, gas sensor. Guys, you can see. So, this LED is responsible for uh, when the light is uh, low in, in your room. So, this LED will immediately glow. And uh, these five uh, LEDs are basically responsible for when the gas uh, is very close then, uh, to the sensor, then it will automatically uh, glow one after another. Okay. So this LED is basically. Uh, automatically glow when uh, motion is detected. These five uh, LEDs are responsible for detecting gas. Okay. Then buzzer will uh, start ringing when uh, the distance is very close. That means someone uh, is very close to your door. Okay. And uh, we just set one alarm when the gas is very close uh, to your sensor or room we can say and when motion detected then also buzzer will start ringing ok we have this Arduino board and there are three buzzers and also I have uh, used one multimeter like this so that will display the voltage. So, we actually uh, if we increase decrease the temperature, so we can uh, get the voltage value of that. Okay. So, now I will go to the code and check whether it is same what I have explained or not. This is the pink thing already I told you. This will uh, behave as trigger pin as well as the echo pin as when required, pin pin is connected to digital pin number 7. Then we have buzzer pin is pin number 4, that is digital pin number 4. Then we have LED pin is 2. 
then you have LDR pin as A1, the LDR uh, sensor with pin number A1 that is analog pin of Arduino, where from Arduino you will receive the input or sensor value. These are the LED pins, those are responsible for measuring the intensity of the gas and this is the gas sensor pin A3. This is the pin where gas sensor is connected that is analog A3 where we have to connect the gas sensor where from Arduino will receive the data or sensor value. Okay, guys. Then these are the variables. The one is delay between rails, which is initialized to 5000, and this is the sensor pin A5, where you have connected the temperature sensor. This is the setup function, guys, where you have initialized all the sensor pin as output pin and one these are the pin mode function here we have initialized buzzer pin as output pin LED pin as output pin LDR sensor pin as uh, input pin LED pin as output pin, 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 LED pin as output pin. Then you have uh, pin number 10 where you have connected uh, the PIS sensor, which is also input pin, and pin number 11, this is output, this is the LED pin for uh, detecting motion or not. Then you have a loop function where you have declared one deviation variable and centimeter okay so then i have initialized the pin pin as output pin and then set to load for two microseconds then once again pin pin sets to high and then uh, high for uh, five microsecond then set to low then uh, pin pin initialized to in Truth pin because then pin pin will receive the signal and then calculate the deviation that means by using pulsing function that means pulsing function will receive the signal okay. and now convert this deviation into centimeter by using a function I have defined later this is the function microseconds to centimeter then you can print the value I printed over here the distance value and if the distance is less than 100 centimeter then buzzer will start ringing else not but that means if greater than equals to 100 then buzzer will not start ringing then uh, LDR uh, status that is I have used one uh, analog read function that will read the value from the sensor and store it to LDS status. If LDS status value is less than equals to 300, then we can turn on the light. In this case, it is LED. We can also print the value of LDS status else will not turn on the light that means LED. Now we have a gas sensor right already I have explained it will read the value between 300 to 750 now I have mapped it to 0 to 100 so I am using map function and initially the first LED is glowing when the value is greater than equals to 20 then LED 1 as well as LED 2 will glow then uh, if the value is greater than 40 then LD 1, 2, 3 will grow 
if the value is greater than equals to 60 led 1 2 3 4 will grow if value is greater than 80 then led 1 2 3 4 5 will grow that that actually measure the intensity when the 5 led are blowing that means the gas is very close to you you can say your room or very close to sensor right now uh, we have a digital read function that will read the value from AS sensor if it is high that is motion detected then LED which is connected to 11 the digital pin of 11 is glowing else not so this is the function uh, just converts the microseconds to centimeter I have written this one and by using some standard formula so now I will run this code start simulation guys you can see demonstration to start with a LDR as you can see you have enough sunlight that is why light is off and if you decrease it so light is on first part is over second was the temperature sensor as you can see it is connected to one multi meter where you can see the voltage value you can think as you see if temperature value is less than or greater than some threshold AC will on or fan will on like this this is the ultrasound sensor guys so guys you can see the if the distance is less than 100 further it starts reading the distance Hear the sound, okay. So now it is off because object is too far from sensor. So now if we on PIR sensor, as you can see, if I move this object, as you can see, motion detected and buzzer is start ringing. Now I will click on gas sensor guys, it is far from sensor, when it is close to the sensor as you can see one of the other uh, is green and all five LEDs are green simultaneously. Okay, that means the gas is really close to 